question. Yeah, so what's going to take to bring it down? Well, to bring all this down, to break out of it, I think requires that we become less tolerant of, of some of the things that holds it all together, for example, the left. Uh, if anarchy is still going to be a flavor of the left, then we're not really going to get anywhere. That's, that has to be ended. That, there has to be a complete break with that. And by the left, I mean the historical uh, left, including uh, traditional classical leftist anarchism. That's all, that doesn't break with the uh, with the mainstream of the of the dominant culture uh, at all. And so there there's a real chasm, and there really it's not a sectarian divide. I mean, it, there's really some pivotal stuff uh, at issue, and that's just the way it is. If people Again, they want to mass production society, mass culture, mass consumption, uh, then they do. And some of these people aren't willing to, in uh, um, terms of the anarchist left, they're not willing to admit that. But they, they want to preserve all this. They, they want, they really want more of it. They, they have a very different orientation than, than anarcho primitivists. For example, one thing that's telling, I think, and has to do with the breakout, has to do with the solution, is how little respect they give the indigenous dimension, the indigenous reality. They really, uh, the people that are leftists essentially want native people to become uh, uh, workers and consumers and voters. They, they, do. They, they have no, they don't see the integrity or the, uh, the value of, uh, of those life ways. Uh, I'm, and I'm referring back to, you know, it goes all the way back to uh, non-domesticated people, hunter-gatherer people, nomadic hunter-gatherers or others, uh, even uh, horticulturalists often, who have uh, been outside of the uh, force field of civilization. They don't want that. They never have. Uh, and uh, sometimes you see people kind of flirting with that, but uh, we have to look at the consistent points of view, and I think this starts for anarchists. If we're talking about getting somewhere, uh, I just reiterate, we, we won't get anywhere if we're, if we're part of the left. That's dead, and uh, it should be dead, and it should be, we should just be dumping the dirt on its corpse and moving on. Otherwise, we don't move on. That's the first thing. And, and all the rest of it, if we can't, if we can't deal with that, then uh, I just don't see because there's so much there's there's so much of the rest of it to tackle. But uh, if you're hamstrung at the start by your own uh, almost definition, if that's what your definition of anarchy is, then how can you expect some kind of solution? Something? How can you expect a different vision or a different paradigm, or a different model? How can you expect something that inspires people? with the same old shit that nobody wants anymore. Nobody cares about the Spanish Civil War 80 years ago. They just know Why would they? I mean, it's interesting to some of us, but what does it have to do with right now? I mean, the part that sticks out to me, unfortunately, is keeping production going. I don't want to keep production going. I want to see the end of that. So, it's, a, it's, it's an orientation that has to take itself seriously and fight for the conclusions and uh, and, uh, and push on from there instead of just saying, well, we have this point of view now and we're comfortable with that. You can't be comfortable in this world with anything that counts.